Hey guys, so I'm kind of running late here, but I just wanted to update you guys. Some of you may or may not know I recently turned 18, which means I can finally do something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. I've really been wanting lip injections. Um, nothing crazy, nothing like Kylie Jenner. I want it to look very natural. Well, I had a consultation last week, and I'm about to head out. I'm kind of running late. That's why my hair is still wet from the shower and stuff. Um, I'm not going to record while I'm there or like the process or anything like that because I just wanted to keep this kind of short. But I'm about to get in the car now and I'll update you guys when it's all done. Hopefully it goes well. Wish me luck. I've never done anything like this before. I'm pretty scared. Uh, I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> Alright, I'll update you guys in a little bit. So this is day one after my injections. As you can see, they're really puffy right now. Um, the doctor said that that's normal for like the first couple of days. They'll be um, like super swollen and then they're going to go down to what they're supposed to look like. If you look, I have um, this white stuff around it. It's like um, pain ointment because there is a lot of swelling, some bruising. It's very uncomfortable. It sort of hurts to talk. It's okay if I push it kind of just like that, but overall it's pretty painful. So it's only it's only been like 24 hours, so I'll update you guys tomorrow, and we'll check how the swelling went down and how it looks. I feel like most people would be alarmed if they um, woke up the day after lip injections and it looked like this, but. My doctor assured me that this was normal for the first day, so I'm really, really excited um, for them to go down in the next couple of days. Yeah, you can see the ointment. The ointment's there and there, and you can see bruising around the top and the bottom. I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so it's day four. Um, as you can see, I still have quite a lot of ointment around them because they're still very hurtful um they're supposed to go down by now and they haven't which worries me i'm running out of pain ointment and i did manage to put some new to lip gloss i don't know if you guys can tell um i don't know i called my doctor so we use like half of the syringe so we don't really know what's going on. My doctor said he's never seen a case like this. I don't know guys, it's just really hard. Like, <laughs> everyone told me that this was a bad idea and that it wouldn't turn out okay. And that it would be like this and I didn't listen. I didn't listen. <laughs> so I never wanted to look like this. And now I'm afraid that I'm stuck like this. And I feel so bad, everyone told me no, no, you're fine the way you are. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. And just the fact that everyone's going to say I told you so. I don't know. I'm just really regretting this. I wish I hadn't done this. I wish I had appreciated my lips before. Fingers crossed that it goes down because I'm just... I'm really not happy now. And I don't know what to do. I'll be I'll update you guys later. So it's like um day eight or nine, I think maybe. Um I just wanted to let you guys give you guys one last update before I make this video final. Um so basically they just weren't going down, my lips just wouldn't go down, so I ended up having to go to the doctor. And it turns out I am allergic to, um, I don't know the name of the ingredient. One of the ingredients in, um, the injection that was used to give me plumper lips. The doctor said it's nothing that can really be reversed because it's not like a lip implant. They can't just, like, pull it out. They are supposed to kind of go down over time. They're not permanent, so around six months to a year, I would probably want to get them redone had it gone correctly. Since it is the way it is, um, in about six months to a year, it should go 
down um not necessarily back to how my lips were but it should go down some more it's not painful anymore um i still put a little bit of ointment on it just in case they get tired of bumping together and start aching i don't want that um but yeah i do kind of talk different now just because like i have these big lips it's different it's weird for me to be talking at all with them because I'm just not used to it. I've kind of come to terms with the fact that this is just how I'm going to look. I don't know guys, these lips are really starting to grow on me, especially when I use my Peri Purple lipstick that I have on now. Um, yeah, so I'm not saying that they're my favorite. Look, it's so hard for me to get lipstick to be even. Oh, also, um, I don't know if you could tell on video, but this side is a lot plumper than this side, which is pretty strange. My top lip just kind of went crazy. I don't know. I drool a lot more now. I do. And you don't have to tell me that I look outrageous and over the top. I know I do. I can't help how this turned out. I'm still a normal human being. I can do everything that people without injections can do. I can still sing. I've got your number. I don't know how long I can wait. Oh, oh, oh. To call you over so we can waste the night away. Oh, 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 oh. When the lights go out, we're getting up. Go where we go, we do what we want. Take my money, take my keys. Drive this car through the drive through please. I ride with poison pen. But these chemicals move in between us are the reason to start again. Shout out to Tinsley Transfers for having the coolest products ever. Um, they don't just have lips, they have scars, bloody wounds, like everything. This is the first one I've tried and I'm highly impressed. It worked very, very well. Um, I did kind of mess up on putting it on, but that was my own fault. The instructions were clear, and I just don't know how to follow instructions. It's all good. You should definitely consider doing something that involves one of their special effects for Halloween, because it's super easy, it's not expensive. I know I look super ridiculous right now, but I just want to remind you guys that you're perfect the way you are and you don't need to change and if you do want to change and do something such as plastic surgery or lip injections make sure it's for the right reasons do it for you don't do it for acceptance or for a specific person or for what other people think if it's something that really bothers you and you want to change it for you then do it but you are perfect the way you are and so please just love yourselves and stay body positive don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time with smaller lips. <laughs> Bye, guys!